Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Tidbits of Faith with Father Romans. It's such a dreary week this past week. Now the sun is finally starting to come out these days, and we're getting into the fall temperatures. What a beautiful time of year for us. Hopefully we'll get our school golf tournament in, which we had to cancel earlier this week, but we're planning to have it on October 23rd. We're here in the school. That's what made me think of the golf tournament. Here in our third grade classroom with Miss Caitlin Keogh, one of our third grade teachers, uh, extraordinary member of our staff and also a very active member of our parish and various ministries as well. Caitlin, welcome, and would you like to share with us what you do besides teach third grade? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the one of the big things I do here is teach third grade, um, which it's the sacrament year, so we do a lot with that. Um, first I, reconciliation for, and first communion. And communion, yeah, right. You got well, both, double yep. whammy. Um, and I'm also involved with the ID group here um, at the parish. So we do different events throughout the month. Um, we have a weekly women's group, a weekly men's group. So um, I'm doing a lot with that. And yeah, just a lot throughout. Um, and you founded the new group, uh, Rosary Warriors, yes, here in the school? Yes, we started it last year, actually. So we are starting it again in the next few weeks here at uh, the school again. With the and that's a process by which they learn how to pray the rosary and make them, too? And they make them, yes. So we um, pray the rosary, they um, learn about it, and then they put them together themselves. And um, then we figure out where they can go, who needs them, and you know, we donate them. Lots of different excellent, places. excellent. And we bless them at a school mass, yes. yes. Yep. And uh, the ID community that we talked about, you know, a lot of people may not know what that is. So ID 916 community is our community of young adults, if you will. Uh, young and older, we'll say. <laughs> 20s to 50s. <laughs> 20s to 50s, single and married, kids, no kids. We want you all to feel encompassed into this community. They're growing together in faith. They're walking this journey together, and that's such a beautiful uh, testament to the liveliness of our parish family. So thank you for your involvement in that as well. And this is called Tidbits of Faith. And because we're hoping that you will share a tidbit of the faith that gives you inspiration on your own spiritual journey that will hopefully inspire the people watching. Well, I feel like I'm going to talk about the rosary just with starting uh, Rosary Warriors. Um, I mean, I always knew about the rosary and I prayed it sometimes, but not often. Um, and it wasn't until the last few years, probably during COVID, honestly, that um, I started praying it more. Um, I just kind of heard a lot more people talking about it and the importance of it and Mary's call to pray it every day. Um, and so that just kind of was on my heart. And so I started praying it. And um, throughout that, um, I've seen like great things because of the rosary, not just in my life, but in other people's lives as well. Um, and I kind of attribute that to coming up with the idea for Rosary Warriors. So um, I can't say that I'm perfect at praying it every single day, but I try. Um, I know that's kind of, you know, sometimes hard, but it's short enough where you could do a rosary every day. Um, and yeah. About 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah, right. 15, 20 minutes. And, you know, you don't have to do it all in one sitting you can break it up right. if needed so um it works the and blessed mother's going to hear your prayers whether you're offering them all at once or sporadic throughout the day you, exactly. know, you could do a decade here and a decade there the knights of columbus give out a rosary in when they first in, introduced men into the order and the, the priest says to them he charges them to carry it with you always and pray it as often as you can because we know that you know sometimes we forget or sometimes we just don't have that time, we're too exhausted. Or, but praying it as often as we can, asking the intercession of the Blessed Mother, it can work miracles in your life and in the lives of those for whom you pray, as Caitlin has attested to. And we hope that you'll pick up that rosary and pray it today. Until next week's edition of Hashtag, uh, hashtag Beyond the Bulletin, I was going to say, until next week's edition of Tidbits of Faith, we ask God's choices, blessings upon you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go take on the day, everyone.